Asking questions that are fair and unbiased is definitely a science. Here are some examples of how you can go wrong, as well as some examples of how to phrase questions in a more fair and balanced way. Do you agree or disagree, given the amount of crime these days, that it makes sense not to walk alone at night? I agree. For me personally, especially. Do you own a gun and do you think it should be legal for citizens to own guns? I don't personally own a gun, um, but well, I think that people should be able to own guns for hunting or, you know, purposes like that, I guess. What do you think here in Milwaukee is the most pressing problem facing the mayor today? Definitely, uh, definitely crime in the city. It needs to be something that is dealt with in the, in the future. The Supreme Court has upheld a woman's right to an abortion as a constitutionally guaranteed right in the first three months of a pregnancy. Do you agree or disagree with the court that there is such a right in this country? I agree. Do you favor or oppose not allowing gays and lesbians to legally marry? Do I favor? I oppose not allowing gays and lesbians to marry, because I think they should be able to marry. <laughs> Are you feeling well today? Yeah, I'm in a good mood today. Are you feeling healthy and well today? Mm, yeah, I think I feel healthy today. How many times have you received any medical care in the past 12 months? Um, probably about five times. In the past year, how many times have you seen or talked to a medical doctor or a physician's assistant about your health? Four times. I'd say three to four times. And other than the visits to doctors that you just mentioned, how many times in the past 12 months have you gotten medical advice from a physician over the phone? Once. Other than what we've mentioned, how many times in the past 12 months have you gotten health treatments from a psychiatrist? Zero. Or from an acupuncturist? Oh, probably like from an acupuncturist, maybe like six times. How many days in the past week have you done any exercise? Two. Oh, well. The next question is going to ask you about how often you've engaged in exercise. We want you to include walking, anything you may do around the house, or work you do on a job if you think that constitutes exercise. So using that definition, in the last week, on how many days did you do any exercise? Um, three to four days. In the past week, how many servings of eggs have you eaten? Well, if one egg is one serving, then probably like four. In the past week, on the days you ate eggs, how many eggs did you eat? Uh, two. And then how many days in the past week did you eat eggs? Twice. What do you feel about this statement? I'm confident in President Obama's ability to lead in the event of a swine flu pandemic. Strongly agree, somewhat agree, or don't agree at all? Somewhat agree. I'm confident in President Obama's ability to lead in the event of I'd a swine flu pandemic. I'd have to say neither agree nor disagree. Do you favor making it legal for doctors to assist terminally ill patients in committing suicide? I don't think so. Do you favor making it legal for doctors to give terminally ill patients the means to end their lives? Yes. 
Okay, we're talking about drinking uh, alcoholic beverages. How many drinks did you have all together yesterday? Uh, two. Uh, zero. In general, would you say that you drink more than your friends, less than your friends, or about the same amount as your friends? Probably a little bit more. About the same amount. Think about the friend you know who drinks the most. About how many drinks would you say that person usually has? On a nightly basis or like when they go out on the weekends? Like on a night. Um, I would say on a night out they may drink five, six, seven drinks easily. I don't know, maybe five. And how about you? On days when you have any alcoholic beverages, about how many drinks would you usually have? Um, if I go up, probably three or four. That's, that's about it for me. Two to three. Did you vote last month in the state and local elections or not? Yes. In last month's state and local elections, did things come up that kept you from voting, or did you happen to vote? No, as a matter of fact, I was walking with somebody past uh, where I go to vote, and they were very tired, so we actually headed straight home that day. We didn't vote.